Before I came here, my life was really hard because of the fact that I couldn't read and I thought that my life would be done because I know that throughout life you can't go anywhere without learning how to read. I have a problem with like, concentrating. I get distracted very easily. So like in my old school, it was like, like they really didn't understand, so it was like this and that. The way I am now is like, the way I see things is very different and like way better than when I was young. Because when I was young, I didn't really think like life and like school was so important. The boy who walked into school was, was alone. Didn't really have family to look for support. I was a handful. <laughs> I was a handful coming in here. This school is the realization of my desire to create a school for students with disabilities and have it be a place where students who are experiencing crisis in other areas of their life can come and feel safe and really experience school as a wonderful, friendly, safe place, which is an unusual circumstance when you talk about the kids that we take in. My mother, she had me at a young age and really couldn't support me and live her life at the same time. So she ended up through the shelter system. That's why I looked towards the school for most of the help I need. Stefan was homeless and him and his mom were living in a shelter and they was, they were struggling. And so I took it upon myself to further assist Stefan and work with him and some of the things that he needed support with. And there were also times that he was really struggling with food. So I said, look, we have this, this program to where we can provide you for additional support. Because at one point in time, he really didn't think that he would actually graduate. And so just giving him that additional encouragement and meeting with him weekly in addition to his social work and saying, look, it is a struggle, but as long as you stay focused, there will be light at the end of the tunnel. The school helped me in various ways, being that I was that kid who was in trouble, had fights here and there, or trying to get money by stealing or whatever. They took me away from all of that and, and gave me a, a straight path to, to look forward to. I became more confident about where I wanted to go in life. It wasn't just knowing that the next day I'm going to be on the street. It's like, I know I'm going to be somewhere and come back and, and help those who helped me. It is the low, dark, and rather long living room of the time. As the curtain rises, the room is empty. I went to a public school, right? So in public school, you don't get as much support as you do get in here. So like public school, they could really care less. Either you're passing, failing. You could fight in school and they really wouldn't care. So now this school, like, they have people to support, guidance counselors to talk to, social workers to help you out. I started OCS when I was in the seventh grade. I did a safety transfer. It was like the school I was in. It was just dangerous, so. I think OCS changed me, it matured me, and I became more responsible. I would say it saved my life. Graduates, before I congratulate you on your accomplishments, allow me a few minutes to share. Generally, schools that work with our demographics or our population are not safe. And if you talk to the kids who transfer into Opportunity after being in a middle school somewhere else, they'll tell you the stories of bullying and of violence and of safety transfers and teachers who don't care. And, and so it's really a place, once they come here, they know that they belong. And it's that sense of belonging that we hope prevents them from trying to belong to something negative out on the streets. So that's how we see ourselves as an opportunity, an opportunity to not go down the path of gangs and violence, but go down the opportunity path, which is you know, graduating from high school and, and going to college, if that's their dream, or preparing them for the workforce. You're going to Tyler, You're going to Tyler, going to Tyler. Tyler College. <laughs> In fourth grade, I was left behind because of, I think, behavior. And then six, I had to repeat the grade because of whatever. So it was like, like challenging, you know, coming in. And I was nervous because like you have to tell people your age. But I mean, God makes a way. So I put everything behind me and willing on moving forward. Marquis started OCS in seventh grade. Kanye started sixth grade. Marquise was held over twice previously. 
So when he came to OCS, he had struggles academically. In the beginning, it was hard for him being the oldest in his class, being the tallest in his class. So he was struggling, but with the help of the staff, he became a better student, a better child. And he's not scared to ask for help anymore because he knows I have teachers that are concerned. In my previous school, I have a problem with like concentrating. I get distracted very easily. And I feel like in this school, it's more like everybody understands me and they know, okay, if Marquise is off track, give him a second and then he's back on. So, Because in my old school, I used to get away with a lot. So it's like now I feel like the support is better. Like I have more male figures and stuff. So I feel like everybody is like one family. So it helps me create a bond even more with my mom and my brother at home because now we're even closer as a family. Last year, 2015, is when Kanye was hospitalized for three to four weeks. And that's when I, I became more close with the staff in OCS. My experience in OCS is wonderful. The teachers, like, they support you and everything. Like, even if you have, like, an IEP or something. Like, in my old school, like, I was always in a hospital, like, and they, like, they used to be there, but not as much as the school. Like, they're really, like, they care for you. I was like the only one in my family couldn't read. And my family, they were like, we have to help her, we have to help her. And they didn't know how to. And then when I came here, it just, everything turned around. They take it into their hands to show me the way I learn. So if I don't understand the way it should go, they'll find a way to make me understand it. I think Opportunity Charter School definitely changes the path of students and creates success and in independent living for them by giving them both emotional, social, and academic skills. Working here and seeing students the way I was that couldn't read or are having struggles in classes, seeing them and then See me now, I can um, relate to that. I can be like a role model to them. And I do say that to them, like, you're gonna graduate high school. If I could do it, you could do it. And you're gonna go to college. And they're like, no, I have a disability. I, I can't do this, I can't. Don't say I can't do it. You can do it. If I did it, you can do it. Words that come to my mind when you say opportunity to our school is comfort, love, respect. It's in a name, opportunity. It's like, a, for me, it's a way to like, to, to show people that all people make mistakes, but you can learn from them. And give, it gives you more of an opportunity to, to make something of yourself. The help that they give my children, especially my oldest. The time that they take out and they speak with him and they don't judge him. And that means a lot because it's hard, but just seeing the support that they give, that means a lot because schools don't do that. Even schools that you pay for, they don't support you in no way. But the staff at OCS, they do. Now I see myself and I'm like, wow, I can write emails, I can read anything. And I'm like, oh man, you did it. You're now here. You now can do whatever you want to do. And I even feel that I can go to college. I can be successful in whatever I want to do after here.